Kenny here once again with Garden and Simplified. I just have a quick tip. I had a question the other day from one of my friends that said, my tomato plant is six to seven feet tall. It's been blooming. She says she doesn't have a tomato on at one and she says she has bees. And here's the way I'm gonna address it. Now, my tomato crop, and you can see, I have plenty of tomatoes on mine. But, and I had bees in my garden. I've, I've seen them. I watched them. They really like the onions. Uh, but I never seen any on the tomato plants. So what I've been doing from the start, and some of you know this, they're probably a few that are out there that don't and that's why I'm addressing it is uh, you can self pollinate or pollinate these flowers yourself all you have to do is tap these flowers when I come through here and I'm looking at my plant and I'll inspect it I take and I always pop whatever's left of the bloom off the bottom of the tomato that's formed uh, but I take and, and I bump these flowers and what that does is knock the pollen so it pollinates that that particular flower and if you do that and a lot of times I'll miss and I'll see somewhere I I had a cluster where where they maybe didn't all set you can see right here on this one how there's an empty spot here now that could have been a leaf but a lot of times uh it's where a tomato was and if it if any of these blooms don't set you can see this one right here is dying and coming off the reason for that is it didn't get pollinated if maybe it was a time that i didn't come through here you know a few days and they had opened up but it's good to inspect your tomatoes once a day uh i'd let mine go a couple of days because I've got so much going on in the other place in the garden. And I came back and I found where it looked like a, uh, either a cut worm or a horn worm had uh, been munching on one of the plants while I was doing my weeding and my trimming and come back and uh, uh, clip those limbs off. But, you know, the damage was done. Not that it was that critical for the plant. It's because I did, I did take and watch it. But I couldn't find the worm anywhere. And I thought to myself I'd come out at night with the UV light. But, but I didn't. I just come out this morning. Uh, a good, uh, safe way to, to treat these plants if you can't find your, the hornworm on there because they're a master at hiding normally i gotta get my wife out here if i see a bunch of damage because she'll find where it's hiding on the plant but you can take bt and you can spray these and it only affects once it's dried it it only affects the the worm it does something uh that causes them not to want to eat and uh they just die so uh, that's a good way to do it and another thing I would say being I'm talking about BT is when you have corn and your corn starting to uh, start starting to tassel uh, I've been watching some videos and BT is actually a good way to get rid of those uh, worms that that get in the ear of your corn it's it's nothing worse to to have a nice look like a nice ear of corn and you shuck it back and you find uh one to three or four worms in there so uh make sure you take and get aggressive again some of these things now they do say bt is uh uh, can be used as organic now. I, I can't say that because the more that I look but it is a safe prod uh, product for for in your garden so uh, Anyway, 
get out there and a lot of times I say I'm out fondling my my flowers and in, in my on my tomatoes but get out there and, and move around and and, and just uh, jiggle them a little bit some some people say you can just shake the cages you know and and that's probably enough if you have cages uh, but it it's really easy and, the, and it'll really increase your your crop of uh, tomatoes and if you think this might help someone else well go ahead and share it uh, you know if if it's first time here you want to see some of my other videos uh, go ahead and look back in the videos and if you want to see new ones as they come out well subscribe and hit the bell button and, and if you like this go ahead and hit like uh, happy gardening